I've built a really powerful keyword research tool using make.com and a service called Billship, which I'll tell you about in a few minutes. This is very efficient and incredibly cheap to run. It starts with this Google Sheet. You can provide as many websites or individual URLs as you like. It will very quickly go through each of those URLs and create full keyword reports for every single one of them. Later on, I'll then compare the results against a really expensive tool like Ahrefs to see if this is a suitable alternative. I'm going to just run this automation now and explain a few things while it's happening. So as you see here, it's watching for new roles. It's making a request to this Billship endpoint that we created, which I'll tell you about. And then it's creating a spreadsheet, moving it to a folder, and then it's actually bulk updating that particular Google Sheet in one operation. So as you see here, it's already populating out these keyword reports on the fly, and it's doing it within one operation. So this bulk mode means that we do not need to use an iterator or aggregator. So even though there are possibly many hundreds of keywords per report, we do not need to insert those roles one by one, because usually in make.com, you'd have to use iterators and aggregators and that would use thousands of operations. In this case, we've only used 31 operations to output six massive reports. So when you click on one of those reports, we see the keyword ordered by search volume. It shows the page that's ranking for that keyword, the high or low competition level. We're using the hugely powerful data for SEO API, which is also extremely cheap, as you can see based on the pricing here. For each of these reports, it's only one or two cents to run each report and the results are nearly instantaneous. By the way, if you want to get instant access to run this automation, then check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of our automation templates, including the one in this video. So how does this work? First off, we have a standard watch new roles module within make.com, and it's just watching for new roles within this sheet. Next up, it's making this request, and this is a special request to a billship project that we've set up. We're not interacting with the data for SEO API directly within this make scenario because it would just be far too complex to do so. Interacting with complex APIs like this is a weak point of make.com and it's better to use an external service instead. So what are we doing here? We're making a request to this billship project that I'm just about to show you. We're passing the URL, the number of results that we want in our report and the max SERP position. So that's the max position that it should appear on Google anything that's appearing way lower down in the search results will not show up in this report. And then we press okay. So let's go to this Billship project. So first off, Billship is a really, really powerful low code tool. It has many similar features to make.com, except that you can actually run code directly within it. And you can use their AI creator, as you see here, to actually generate the code for you, like you see here. Billship has an incredibly generous free tier. On the free plan, you have three execution hours per month, as well as five workflows. I've been using this pretty intensively for the last week with a lot of executions, and I'm still on the free plan. It's more advanced than make.com, which is why we're only using this for the more complex parts of this scenario. If you're a member of our community, you can import this entire workflow to our community at the click of a button. It's even easier to import than a make.com scenario. So I had never used Billship before, as what I started with was I press this magic button and I put in some instructions within this to start generating some of these nodes. I then used ChatGPT to help generate some of this code as well because I'm not particularly good at writing JavaScript code. So what is this doing? It's, it's starting with a trigger, similar to what you would do as a webhook within make.com, which is this REST API call. When you create one of these scenarios, you create that REST API call and then ship it at the top right. Then when you ship it, you can copy that endpoint URL and then call that scenario from within this make.com scenario. As you see from within this request content, we're providing the URL, the number of results and the max positions. After it gets this request, I've added this other node here, which is to extract the URL. This is not explicitly required, but I added this in so that you could provide a root URL, so the full website address or an individual post URL. And the logic also cleans up if it includes like www or https at the start to make sure that it is in the exact right format for data for seo after that i added in this extra node here and this is exactly the same as a http call within make.com where we're sending a post request to this data for seo api within data for seo i went to this playground where you can construct the request that you want and then select code example from the bottom right. You can paste in the code here and then update these variables to make it relevant for your scenario. So that means we're providing the correct URL. The limit is the, the max results that you see here. And the filter is filtering by the max positions as well as filtering by a specific URL if you have provided a post instead of the main root domain. A really nice thing about Buildship is that it has these secret keys. So you can add a secret key and add in your username and password, and then you can reference that 
within this. So if you import this scenario from our community, for example, you would add in that secret key and then reference the secrets here or add a new secret. That means you're creating your passwords and usernames, but they are now individually tied to this blueprint, which is something that's also greatly lacking within make.com in the regular plans. Finally, after it makes this call to data for SEO, we have this process JSON. The response from data for SEO will be in this complex format. In combination of this buildship AI generator, along with ChatGPT, I was able to quickly put together this code that takes that data for SEO response and then responds with the exact format that's needed for here, which is the bulk append mode within Google Sheets. That means that within one operation within Make, we can update hundreds or even thousands of rows at once. So the response of this goes back into Make and adds all of these rows within one operation. So once it's processed this in exactly the right format, it returns it again. So we have this return node and we're just returning the value of this. From that, then we have the response. Then we create a spreadsheet, and this is pretty straightforward, which is just creating a new Google Sheet. We're then moving that to the correct folder on our Google Drive. So we create the sheet, we move it to the right folder, and then we use this bulk call, so make an API call, instead of using iterators and aggregators. So we have this spreadsheet, we have the spreadsheet ID, values, and then a, z, and append at the very end. That's really important. In order to access this, you need to use this make an API call version on Google Sheets. This is the post method, content type application JSON, parameter of value input option, and user entered. And the data is the response that we're getting from this build ship module. Press OK. Then at the very end, we're updating the row. So we're updating the row of this original spreadsheet just to populate this keyword report, as you see here. So we're just updating the spreadsheet URL column D here. Let's quickly compare the results from this keyword tool to a very expensive SEO tool like Ahrefs. So that keyword is showing up pretty high on the list. It's showing up as 154,000 search volume per month on Ahrefs, of, whereas it's 246 on from Data for SEO. Similar keyword there is showing up on the first page as well. Elliptical Machine is, all, is showing up 50,000 and 90,000. Hack Squat, 62,000 showing up on Ahrefs. 90,000 showing up on Data for SEO. Squat Rack, uh, let me see, home gym, home gym, a few home gym keywords are also showing up as well. Let's have a look at this treadmill review guru very quickly and compare it against what we see in Ahrefs. Soul F80 is showing up on both of those, but showing up with about 10,000 search volume from data for SEO data, where it's about 6,000 on Ahrefs. So these are certainly different data sets, but the kind of keywords that we're seeing are very much in a similar ballpark. As you see, this keyword is showing up here it's showing up within this report as well. Matrix, Matrix Treadmill is showing up as well. There tends to be quite a variation between keyword tools, but it's interesting to look at the differences. I'm going to be canceling my Ahrefs account pretty shortly because they've bumped me up to the newer pricing plan. So uh, I wanted to show you this before I cancel that plan. I'm considering making an entire series on this as well as in-depth tutorials. So if you want to see that, then write keyword research within the comments. But if you want to get instant access to these scenarios without knowing how to use Billship or without knowing how to code, then make sure to check out the link in the description to our community. We'll get access to all of our automations, including the one in this video. You can chat to us directly within our weekly workshops and you can get feedback and ask questions directly through our active community. Thanks for watching.